This is Pa Igewe House from Okada. Sunday, 3rd of April 2022, remains a black day for occupants of house number 69, Mission Road, Okada, as they are yet to come to terms with the fate that has been falling them as the midday fire consumed all they had labored for. Their over 70 year old widow and landlady said life has taken a turn for the worst for her and her children since the fire incident, which raised the 11 rooms in the building and also rendered them homeless. While appealing for assistance, the widow said she and her children find it extremely difficult to feed themselves. Now my husband built the house. Before I may go meeting, they go call me say my husband the, the house is the bomb. Now me wrong. Before I reach here, I love the door bomb. I beg you, man, I help you, I love my picking. See my property, this bag now carry come up. I beg me go, me go, go help me. See my children, all of the days must more. more. Now as I will sleep, I don't know for where I want to sleep again. Don't feel move anything, not even don't feel square anything at all. Other occupants said cash, goods, and personal properties were consumed by the fire that was allegedly ignited by a power surge. They also appealed for assistance from kind-hearted Nigerians. I know can you say good to money? More than three points to bomb for inside the play where they tell you now. Bomb for inside the provision of fridge where they sell where I buy one one two two hundred thousand bond till you now get. I don't get anything. I pay any help. This place is, is everything I have got. This is where I've laid all my life investment. I even want to even go to the bank to collect some loans. All what I have I have made all my life, my life savings, it was all here. Now me just come for market day break. All those fish at the buy credit. Crayfish or bag of crayfish, nasis, fish, bone money when they give me for church for a uh, contribution. Me I sit a pig because when I hold. Well, as I don't hear size store on my back of store, na fire. Once. Are you going to beg anybody? No, no, because I'm so I don't get help. It was gathered that the officials of the fire service department of Igbinedion University Okada were on the ground to put out the fire and also curtail the fire from spreading to other buildings in the area. While the occupants of this building are counting their losses owing to the magnitude of damage caused by the fennel, the 77 year old widow has been at the mercy of the weather since the fire incident took place. She said that uh, as a widow, she has nowhere else to stay and she has been living under this mango tree. And she's appealing to members of the public and concerned citizens to come to her aid. From Okada, the administrative headquarters of the Northeast local government area of Edo State, Best Mbire, reporting.